This is a figure review of the uh, Secret War 2-pack Series 5 uh, Cyclops and Dark Phoenix. So, here they are. Uh, let me give you a look at the packaging there. And also part of Series 5 is the uh, set of uh, Dark Wolverine and Dark Spider-Man. And uh, this 2-pack comes with the uh, Uncanny X-Men number 136. And uh, in front of the packaging, it says one, 136, but I don't know in the back, it said 175. So, yeah, I guess that uh, one error. You can see there, it said 136. And uh, this is the uh, comic that they come with. The, um, the story of this one is just that uh, the Dark Phoenix returned to Earth and uh, she battled the X-Men and then at the end uh, the entire X-Men group was teleported uh, to some place that it, it just ends right there, it doesn't say where or who teleported them but uh, at the end they disappear so yeah and the battle between the X-Men and the Phoenix um, it was nothing that spectacular, nothing we haven't seen in the movie already so let me give you uh, some look at the inside of this issue. And at the end there's a little bit of read up. Uh, just a little, uh, maybe a little biography about the Phoenix. And here we have some uh, gloss paper with a uh, Marvel Universe figure display. Showing the adventure and stuff like that. So, uh, so here is Cyclops and uh, Dark Phoenix. Let me go over Cyclops first. Uh, I think you have seen the difference already because this Cyclops also happened to uh, come in a uh, Secret War 2 pack with the Incredible Hulk. And that Cyclops has a lighter blue painting for his suit. This one has a darker blue and uh, with some... Uh, I don't know what these blue things are, if you know, please tell me in the comment section. But it is the exact same repaint of, uh, of that Cyclops with, that came with the Incredible Hulk. And this Cyclops, I, I know that he has the same problem just like the other one, is that his, uh, his hand, and uh, as you can see, his hand is sculpted in, in a pose that he... Uh, he going to press the button on his visor to fire his optic blast, and the way his the way his arm go up, I mean his hand, his this two finger cannot touch the button. The only thing, uh, the only finger that can touch the button is his thumb. So that is really bad. I I mean I wish they would have given a uh, double hand uh, elbow or maybe a ball jointed wrist, so he can uh, use these two fingers for, uh, for, the po for the pose so that's one problem with this figure and also some problem with painting and this could just be my figure uh, I don't know because I haven't seen another set yet as you can see there are some blemishes on his nose and a little bit of yellow got onto the uh, to his mask so just, uh, just a tiny uh, paint problem oh and down here at the tip of his uh, boots as well. I hope you guys can see that. And uh, just more detail. I mean, other than that, the painting is just fine. And uh, his belt is not molded on, it is uh, just painting. The visor, the, I mean, uh, the sculpting and painting is very nice, just some blemishes problem. And for articulation, he has a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulder, swivel in the bicep, uh, hinge elbow, swivel wrist, ball joint in the torso, swivel uh, hip, oh no, uh, ball jointed hip, double hinge knee, and ball jointed ankle. No swivel in the thigh. So that's Cyclops, and now is Dark Phoenix. Instead of green, this one has a uh, red paint. Uh, paint on her suit and I really like the gold paint on, on her glove and her boots because I mean 
it looks like yellow but it also glittery and shiny so it, it makes uh, the yellow look really like gold and this one also some suffered from uh, pen uh, blemishes as well as you can see there and the head scarf is nice I mean look at the red paint on her hair you can see a lot of detail and uh, contrast in her hair and also the phoenix symbol on her chest and another, another annoying thing about this figure is this bell of her I mean I mean it, it is very loose so you kinda have to push it all the way down her hip to make it stay there or you can either glue this thing to the uh, to, to, to the figure to make it stay there and the articulation is very similar to Cyclops uh, she has a bow jointed head uh, bow jointed shoulders no uh, no swivel in the bicep single hinge uh, elbow swivel wrist bow jointed hip uh, swivel in the waist uh, uh, bow jointed torso my bad and uh, bow jointed hip down here double hinge knee and bow jointed ankle so just another uh, another typical uh, Marvel Universe female figure mode. So I have to say this is a nice set besides some uh, blemishes on the figure. But it is still a nice set. You can find this figure, I mean this whole set for two figures. You can find this set at your um, probably uh, local Target. I will check there first. Uh, maybe Walmart or Toys R Us. I got this set at Target for about thirteen bucks, eighteen, uh, twelve eighty nine. Um, so yeah, at at that price, you got two more Universe figures. So I have to say it is a really good deal. So I would highly recommend you get this set. Uh, you get two X Men to add to your uh, X Men collection. You you also get a comic book and a very nice packaging for about thirteen bucks. Um, so yeah, and uh, let me let me bring out two more figures, just you guys can see how they look again the against the other. And I also have uh, Colossus. So very very nice two more X Men figures that you can have in your collection. Very cool. Very awesome, the price for this set it is very justified, so I highly recommend you get this set. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.